Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Wentworth 6 News. So as you might know, I play this game on both console and PC and I want to go over a new feature on PC that helps to make Rainbow Six Siege look a lot better. So this is available on both AMD and Nvidia, but on the Nvidia side of things, it's a lot more uh, controllable. So AMD, you can switch on and off, but it's global and you cannot adjust how it works. Whereas with the Nvidia one, you can adjust it per game, which is pretty cool. So this is all done with the latest NVIDIA drivers and the GeForce experience installed with the overlay on. So we'll start off with my Rainbow Six Siege settings. So what I've got is these graphic settings and even console players might be interested in this because this might come to the next gen of consoles because it was originally actually an AMD feature before NVIDIA decided to go with it. So this is what I've got and anti-aliasing is currently off just to make it as sharp as possible. Uh, you might obviously play with FFXA or you might play with TEA, but we're going to go off just so it's as sharp as possible to start with. So this is as sharp as Rainbow Six Siege can get without the Ultra Texture Pack. And of course, we're actually in the test server. So we're going to hold down Alt and F3, and it brings up this menu. Of course, don't do Alt F4, that would be bad. You can see the game is still running, it's not paused or anything and we can apply filters. This is all done GPU side, so it doesn't actually affect performance much at all, if anything, and it means that there's no additional problems with doing it. You don't increase lag or anything like that, and you can go ahead and put sharpening on. So let's start by putting everything up to maximum, or actually, let's go maximum sharpness and ignore film grain. So you can see it gets very film grainy there. You can see off, that's what the game normally looks like, and that's what it looks like with it on now. So let's put up the film grain to like say 70%, which kind of works for me. Keeps everything quite smooth, but you'll notice, like especially like these details here around the damage, if we switch it off, that's how it normally looks with it off. That's, that's normal Rainbow Six Siege. Doesn't look sharp at all. And then boom, it just seems to get detail from nowhere. It looks absolutely awesome. Look at these bullet holes. Put you off, put you back on, really good. So you can play around with this. I think maybe something more in the 70 range here is quite good. Let's switch that off again, put you back on. Yeah, we can maybe even go a bit higher. This is the thing, you can play around with it as much as you want to see what you kind of like. But I'm really impressed with just the, the detail that comes out of nowhere. Like it's not there and then the sharpening filter just seems to bring it out and it doesn't make it look, you know, I'm used to like TVs with sharpening filters and I'm looking terrible and this is just really quite beautiful. So this really does help to bring in a lot of extra detail that would otherwise disappear. Now I'm doing this standing still because of course YouTube's going to compress the hell out of any video I upload. So if we're standing still it's going to be a little bit better for you guys to see the differences but believe me, it looks brilliant and it doesn't affect performance. So we can just run around completely fine, no problem whatsoever. And you can adjust that filter on the go however you want. It is really quite impressive and I'm quite happy with how it works. So you might want to give it a go on PC if you have an Nvidia card. Like I say, AMD does have something similar, but it's a global one and you cannot adjust it. So yeah, I'd recommend taking a look at it. It's done all GPU side as well, so there's no, you know, hit to performance. And also it's not detectable by like, you know, battle eye or something. You're not going like, to get banned by it or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I think it just makes the game look better, sharper. And you can play around with all the different settings as well. And uh, I've even heard that it's quite good for downsampling. Like you can downsample the render and then put the sharpening on to make it look sharper. So you can actually gain more FPS if you're having FPS issues. So... Yeah, I'm really quite happy with it and uh, check it out if you like it and thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.